Hi guys, welcome to another Steam walkthrough. Today we have Session 7, which is kind of loud. It's supposed to be a point and click adventure game, so I'm going to turn this down a little bit, because, yeah. Alright, last time. Oh, please, let's go. I ain't got time to talk. <laughs> what was life like for you there, Ryan? How did things go? Fantastic. Wob. I give this game a 6 out of 10 actually because I like that it has multiple endings. You have to ask, it was horrible. Ah, oh, come on now. My family! Help me, help me. Dun, dun, dun. Session seven. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So the first thing you have to do is walk over to the medicine cabinet, open it up. Grab things. Use the scissors on the bandages. Hey, look at that. Now we use the bandage. Wow. And then he's like, okay, my hand's healed. The door will now magically unlock. Oh no, it's not actually unlocked. How unfortunate. Hello, somebody there. Will you help me? I am stuck in the basement. And then it's like, I've got to find a way out of here. Okay. So then, we look at the window that has bars on it for some reason. Can't get through the burglar bars. you think we got these things to keep people out, not in. When you first realized you were trapped, what did you do? I stayed calm. I wasn't just going to give up. I stayed calm. I wasn't just going to give up. I did my best to figure out what was going on. I just wasn't just going to sit down and take it. Especially not if my family was in danger somewhere else. I looked everywhere for clues. Anything I could find that might help me fix the mess I'd gotten myself into. I guess that started with figuring out how I got in there in the first place. Well, why don't we start there? Well, that implies that I haven't I had, I had any idea at all. Okay, now what we do is we open the guitar case. Oh, wow, a string package dropped out. Let's pick that up. All right, we got it. Cool. Uh, now we pick up my child's picture frame, if I can click it. Yay. Whoa, it's one of his school pictures. What's it doing down here? Maybe we should look at it. Oh my gosh, he's happy, and it has a key. Oh boy. Now we use the key. Yeah. Now, what is this? Is this important? Oh yeah, we need the hazelnuts. Those are a big deal. Okay, now we open up the drawer and then we're like oh my gosh there's an envelope and a battery the envelope is from Landon's old school let's see Hanover School Headmaster's Office January the 13th 2017 dear Mr. and Mrs. Schmidt I am writing to inform you of an incident in which Landon was involved today at school around 10:45 this morning he was brought into my office by another off teacher who was approached about him after class by a very distressed female student. This student claims to have been cornered by Landon in the girl's lavatory before school this morning. He told me that he was just trying to ask her to formal, which the student, female student corroborated. 
but she also claims that he would not let her leave the washroom until she accepted the invitation. She claims that she told him she would go with him because she feared for her safety. As such, I hope you can understand that we have permanently barred Landon from attending the formal entirely. Regardless of his intentions, he made the student feel unsafe, and as a precaution cannot be allowed to attend the dance. I must also inform you that this is not the first time, first complaint of this nature, that I have received about your son. I am regularly told by other students that he is reclusive, antisocial, and tends to be make others uncomfortable. With his presence and strange behavior, I implore you, if you are not already to seek help for your son. We offer a school affiliated counseling practice on campus, but I believe Landon may benefit from a qualified psychiatrist. If his behavior, behavior continues to worsen, I feel that we will have to consider blank. What's this about? I just told you. I knew he was having problems in you know, school, but this. I thought we changed schools because he was getting bullied. Why would Cynthia keep this letter a secret from me? Because she can't. Alright, now what we do is we're going to use this cable with this socket, so now we have a drill. Okay, now what do we need to do? Let's go to the box of many things! We can pick up this crowbar too, we don't need it, but we can pick it up. I should take it first. Pick up crowbar. Wow! And now, we need to open, sorry, open the box. Where's the box at? Okay, what the? Open the box! <laughs> there we go. Okay. There are numerous guaranteed cards in the upper part. Okay. And then we open it again. Why not? Also, in the box are some pre old prescription drugs for me. What were they about? This is an old Xanax prescription which was issued for me some years ago. I think we could both benefit from learning a little bit more about yourself. Like what? Well, what do you do for work? I am a mechanical engineer. And you like your work? Can't complain. That's alright. Can't complain. That's good. Liking what you do is important. So you were ups were you upset about having to change your offices to be with your son? Uh, I put this last down. Yes, I don't handle change as well. I see perhaps this time, however, it was for the best. Anyways, work isn't the only thing that makes up a man. What would you say you do for fun? Oh, I don't know. I play the guitar. And do you find that playing helps you when you are agitated? You have to call it that? Do you have to call it agitated? I'm sorry. Is there something else you would prefer I call your episodes? Well, I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Besides, I haven't had a problem like that in a long time. Is that true? You're taking your medications regularly? Don't you believe me? No, because you're being a ding-dong. Open. Uh-oh. It's a battery. Even more guarantee cards and a battery. We really like guarantee cards. Yay. Now we open this. And it has an RFI antenna! Whoa! We're doing it, boys! Must be landings. Uh, I don't know if that has anything. Let's take this blanket. We need blankets. Blankets are good. Pick it up. Pick up the blanket! Our old picnic blanket. Wow, I didn't know we had kept it. Cynthia and I used to spend so much time on that together, especially before Landon was born. Uh-oh. Let's talk about something less painful for a while. Sounds good to me. Good to hear. How have things been with your wife since all of this? Uh, let's see, I still have this. thought you said we would talk about something less painful. Cynthia and I haven't been on particularly good ground since this all began. It's hard to reestablish trust in somebody that constantly seems like they're holding something back. And you do think that she's still holding something back from you, even now? Of course. She has to be. You don't just uproot somebody's life like that with such little reasons. She's still hiding something from me, even now. I know she is. She didn't even want me coming in to see you. Well, alright, that's fair. But still, tell me this, Ryan. Do you still love her? Which one did I put last time? I think I... Can I really love somebody that I don't trust? I want to love her, of course I do. 
but how can I when I'm too busy analyzing everything she does, everything she says to me, every time she leaves the house for groceries or whatever, I have to try and figure out if she's being honest with me or not. It's maddening. Have you tried to talk to her about all this? Well, no, of course not. Not yet. But I swear to God, it's driving me insane. Just last week, she said she was going to the, out to the gym. It's been years since she last went to the gym. I thought I could let it go, but I couldn't. So you didn't let her go? No, I, oh no, I let her go. She walked out of the house, got into the car, and drove off the street, down the street before, before what? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I followed her. I stayed clear back so she wouldn't recognize me, and I followed her all the way to where she was going. And? She went straight to the gym. But you still don't trust you. No, I think this was just a rare instance of honesty for her. And who knows, maybe she even know, knew I was following her after all. And you don't think things will ever be the same now. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. I know there was a point where Cynthia and I were really happy. She was my best friend, and I would have trusted her with my life. We did everything together. Sometimes I think back on that. We had one day, not long before Landon was born, when we were supposed to be out getting some decorations from our baby shower. But we just got so tired of all the family and the friends, and it was just such a nice sunny day outside. We ended up just pulling off the highway at this lake, just me and her, and lay on the grass for hours on our picnic blanket, just soaking up the sun together until it went down. It was beautiful. I missed that. And you think you could get back to that someday? I don't know. I don't know. I really hope so. I'm getting a lot of different options. I think there's only three, though, that matter. What was I doing? I need something. Oh, I need to open the door. So now we open the right cabinet door. Wow. Let's do the pick up. Open. Whoa. And now we use our batteries on the remote control. Both of them. And then we use the drone on this cardboard box and then he's like oh, I'll put it right here and then you use this and then you get to fly the drone so fun ascend alright now I turn it to the right and then I go forward 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 turn right forward easy got it wow too easy now I pick that up and then I open it. Whoa. It's another thingy. Now I use this one. And then I point it at the green thing. And then I use the other one, right? Haw. Huh? And I also point it at the green thingy. Oh, wow. There's a wart. Th there's a thing. And now what you do is you go to your tool kit. You pick up your hammer. Pick up hammer. Pick up screwdriver. And now I use the screwdriver on the place we just found. And then I use the hammer on the screwdriver. Whoa. Stuff. Okay, now I pick up the box. And I open it. Let's see what's in there. Ew! Oh god, it's some kind of animal skeleton! It's all rotten! These are Landon's antidepressants. They have not yet been opened. He's not taking them. An expandable baton. What the hell does he, did he do with the expandable baton? Now, Ryan, I know that we've been avoiding the subject for a while, but... What? I know, I know. We should talk about him. We should. I'm glad you think so, too. We can can start simple. How have things been since the diagnosis? Oh, I don't know. Odd, I guess. I just don't know if I believe it. Asperger's can present itself in many different ways, Ryan. Sure, I know it can. It's just, you've heard the way I describe him. Does it sound like he has Asperger's to you? Well, his antisocial behavior certainly could be a sign. You've told me he has trouble, lots of trouble making friends. Yes, he does. At least I think he does. He never brings anybody home. Anyways, do you think he'll ever get better about that? It's possible. Perhaps the antidepressants will help with that as well. Many depressed people feel that socializing just isn't worth it, whether they're not on the spectrum or not. Okay. You ought to know that. That's true. I don't know. I just feel like 
I just can't shake the feeling that I'm missing something, something big about his behavior. And it's not that I don't trust, well, you know, your people, but if his own father doesn't know him, how can a psychiatrist? You may be right, Ryan. But for the time being, the di being, the diagnosis should be a good thing. It's your first step to getting Landon help, don't you think so? Uh, I really don't think he's sick, but not like that. Landon has always been troubled as long as I can remember. What do you mean, troubled? I mean, he's always been difficult to reach, even when he was a baby. All he does is stare, cry, stare, or cry when he's hungry. It was unnerving. You mean to say he was slow to show emotion? Well, yes, but it was more than that. I mean, there's something from when he was younger, and at the time, I thought I was making me imagining it, but now, what are you talking about? I was the first one to ever see him smile. Well, that's wonderful. No, no, it wasn't <laughs> wonderful. It was unsettling. Most babies, their first smile happens because they hear their mother's voice or somebody makes a silly face at them. Not Landon. What was it for Landon? Cynthia was just happy, getting, just out getting the mail when it happened. I was in the kitchen getting breakfast ready. I was going to make pancakes. Pancakes! Anyways, I opened up one of the cabinets higher up trying to find a good frying pan. I couldn't reach, quite reach the pan I wanted, so I had set Landon down on the counter for just a minute and reached out. The pan came crashing down right next to Landon. I panicked and threw my hand out. I hit the pan out of the way in time, but not before it broke. What the? It broke two of your fingers. Oh my god, you need to drink some milk. It made the most awful sound. And Landon cried? No, no, that's just it. Most babies would have started screaming the second the loud sound started, but not Landon. He was making a funny sound and fidgeted a little bit. For, <laughs> for a second, I thought... Maybe he'd somehow been hurt, or was getting ready to cry, but no. He was giggling. It was for the first time I've ever seen him smile or laugh, and he just kept going. I'm standing there screaming in pain, and he's laughing. He thought it was hilarious. Maybe you were making a funny face. That's what Cynthia thought it was when I told her. But I don't think that's it. I think he generally liked it. The loud noises, the screaming, the pain. Sometimes I wonder if he still does. Ooh. Interesting. Some of these, I'm getting like more information as I do this. So this is what you gotta do now. You pull the expandable baton, and then you gotta let the rat know that it wants the nuts. Let's shut this door real quick. So this is how you do it. You click, use, hazelnuts, mouse hole. Wow, the mouse likes the hazelnuts. Okay. So now once he does that, oh, something you gotta do too. Let me open. So you gotta open the remote control twice so you can get both your batteries back. Did I even pick up the flashlight yet? Yeah, you gotta pick up the flashlight. That would be a good start. And then, you put the batteries in the flashlight. Use battery flashlight. Use battery flashlight. Alright. So now you gotta use the nuts one more time before you set your nut trap for them. Also, you can't hammer the rat if they, you got some crazy ideas like that. Alright, so, look at that, what a beast. Now I set the nut journey for the rat. And you'll pick them all up, so you can make whatever elaborate pattern you want to keep them preoccupied while you get into his hole. Now he's out. So now you need a flashlight his hole. Like so. Hey, too easy, right? Oh, I forgot to do something. I still have time. I can do it. You gotta use the strings with the baton. The expandable baton that you pulled out. And then you use the baton on the hole. And then you get a package of paper clips. And this dude's freaking MacGyver. So with these paper clips, what you can do is open the lock. <laughs> MacGyver. Open. Whoa! What's that? This is an old receipt for new tools we bought when moving in. Let's see. One hammer check, got it with me. Two bench vices, check. Drilling machine, check. 
Three screwdrivers. Check out one of them with me. Four inches. Wait a minute. Are you ready to tell me what happened that night? So this is the part that changes the ending for the game. This is the important part. I don't know. I'm only here to help you, Ryan. You know that I that has always been my goal with you. I guess that's true. It is. So why don't you start with what you saw when you come home? Yeah. So whatever you pick here, I'm pretty sure is what decides what ending you get. The rest of it just gives you more flavor to the story. I saw her, Cynthia Cowering, on the floor of the kitchen. Her lip was bleeding and one of her eyes was black, turning black on the spot. I earned, ran straight to her and asked what happened. I thought we had to break in. What did she say to you? At first she wasn't making any sense. She kept saying that I, things like, I'm alright, I'm alright. It wasn't his fault. And I asked, was asking, who was he? And then I thought maybe she was cheating on me again. That some She brought somebody home and they attacked her. But that's not what happened. No, no, it's not. I asked her who, who did this. And she kept crying and told me, to, telling me to keep my voice down. That's, that's when you realized he was in the house with you. Yes. I heard him blasting music from his room. He just left her to bleed on the floor. So what did you do next? <coughs> Excuse me. I helped Cynthia and Sharon got her some ice. And then I told her I'd be right back. She's scared of her mind, I think. She didn't want me to go up there. She said he had some kind of le weapon. That he threatened to kill both of us when with it if we bothered him. I told her I was just going to get some painkillers from our bedroom. I don't know if she believed me. Then I went upstairs. His door was slightly open. I could see into his room before he could see me. And what was he doing? Just sitting on the edge of his bed, perfectly still, just staring at the wall. You never know what he had just done to his own mother. There was something in his lap, but I couldn't see it. I figured that was his weapon. I had to do something right then and there. He was putting us all in danger. Did you call the police? I would have had it. I had to leave the house to do it, and I didn't want to leave Cynthia alone. I didn't know what he was going to do next. So what did you do? So this gets you the prison ending, this gets you the car ending, and this one, I, this is a new one. <laughs> I went back to my room and started packing for Cynthia and me to get away. It didn't feel like I had a choice. I didn't want anybody to get hurt anymore, especially not my family. I thought we could just pack up and escape, maybe go to a, stay in a hotel for the night. I thought once we were safely out of there, we could call the place to come for our landing. You didn't think you should confront him yourself? No, we were past that. He was violent. I felt like I hardly knew him even more. Even knew him anymore. Son or not, he's become a stranger. I don't know. Didn't know what I could have said or done. I just kept thinking about Cynthia too, and the way she looked so pathetic and hurt. The way she kept making excuses for him. I knew the only way to save her would be to get her far away from him. So I went back to our room and started packing for both of us. You didn't consult her first. She never would have agreed. I knew she wouldn't have agreed. So I just brought the bag to her downstairs and told her we were leaving. She was so beaten. I thought she would leave with me right away, that she would finally see sense, but she was absolutely broken. I found her still sitting on the floor trying to act like nothing was wrong. I grabbed her arm and told her, come on, we're leaving, but she just kept shaking her head. So you tried to force her? I didn't know what else I could do. She wasn't listening to common sense. There was no telling how much time we had before Landon realized something was happening. I ended up trying to drag her out with me, but she wouldn't cooperate. She started screaming and yelling, telling me she wouldn't leave her baby. I tried to t tell her that it didn't make any sense, but she was just listen wouldn't listen. She was sobbing inconsolable. I was trying to get her to stop telling her she needed to leave that Landon wouldn't hear her, but she wouldn't. And Landon must have heard. Next thing I knew, Cynthia was just looking up at him, and he was standing behind me, watching us both. He was holding a wrench. He didn't even look at me. He just told Cynthia to come to him, and she did. She shook herself out of my grip and went to him after only about a minute. She kept muttering something about how he was a baby and she was sorry, and he hit her with the hammer wrench. Last thing I remember is her screaming while he swung the wrench at her head, at my head. And that's it. It was the both of them working together. I didn't want to believe it. My own family, and all this time I thought maybe they were hurt, but they'd just run away. I wonder if this is the same ending as the first one. My wife, my son. Are you alright, Ryan? No. I just need a moment. Oh, I'm in a... Okay. I'm in a... Huh. That's crap. 
All these endings suck. Well, I guess that one was I ate. So now you pick up the bimetal and you use it on your drill. Let's look at our picture. I wonder if I can look at the scrapbooks now, to be honest. Let's look. I don't think I can, but... No. Okay. Alright, now we use the drilling machine on the door, and it will open, and we escape this place for our ending of the game. <sighs> but yeah, I'll include all three endings on this walkthrough. So you guys can see them all if you're interested in that. Now you just open the door and you leave. This took me forever to beat the first time, like I had no idea what I was doing. Alright Ryan, I think we got a lot of important work done today. I'm glad you opened up to me so much about what happened. It was good to see a familiar face, the person they normally send me to. Yes, I've heard Dr. Raj can be a bit harsh. He doesn't know me like you do, either. It's hard enough to tell this story once, never mind a second time. Of course, I think you'll be glad to hear I'm taking over for him now. We'll be seeing a lot more of each other, Ryan. A lot more, huh? Does that mean... Do you think I'll ever get out of here, Doctor? Oh, I think so. This place isn't meant for permanent residents. Except for some rare cases, it's not as if you've ever really hurt someone, anyone. But seeing how traumatized you were after all this, and for me personally, knowing your very unhealthy relationships with Landon and Cynthia, it's probably best that you get some, this time to heal, really heal and reflect on yourself. Besides, it'll be a while before you can reach out to Landon at all, considering he's in a separate hospital. He won't be allowed visitors for quite some time. And what do you think will happen to Cynthia? Well, for now she's awaiting trial. Then it's likely that she'll plead that she was forced, you know, that she was fearing for her life, and that's why she helped Landon over you. And perhaps that's true. Do you think she'll they'll make me speak to her in court? I mean, after she cheated, you felt like you could never trust her again, right? So for your sake, I hope they don't. That's all for today, Ryan. Your handler will take you back to your room. You've been through a lot. I hope. I just hope we can work through it and get you feeling better soon. See you tomorrow. We did it. We unlocked all the endings, I'm pretty sure. Gosh, no, really a happy ending. One was I ate, I guess, but most of them, it's like two bad ends and like an okay end, <laughs> no good ending. Oh well. Thanks for watching as always, and if you could please like and subscribe, and thank you guys who have already done that. Appreciate it. Bye. What do you do? Try to talk to him down so that we can get some help. I couldn't just abandon him. He's my son. I thought maybe if I could just talk to him, father to son, he'd listen. Then we could get him the help he needed. And how did that go? Poorly. Not how it should have. I know we hadn't been talking much lately, but I really thought he would care what his father had to say. I knocked him on the door frame so that I wouldn't surprise him, and the way he looked at me, I almost felt scared. Don't be a bitch. He didn't look like he regretted anything at all, he just looked empty. Empty and maybe a little annoyed that I was there. It was like all of a sudden I realized that this person I'd been looking at all his life wasn't who I thought he was. But who was he? I don't know. I just don't know. Somebody stole this. He asked me what I was doing. I told him I just wanted to talk. He didn't move or say anything, so I just went ahead and sat down next to him on the bed. I swear I could feel the irritated energy coming off of him. It was cold. I asked him what happened. I asked him if he knew what state his mother was in downstairs. Did he admit to hurting her? Yes. No, not really. He didn't, but he didn't deny it either. I guess he didn't. He just said he was sure he'd be, she'd be all right. Honestly, it broke my heart. See my son do that to his own mother and feel nothing. It was painful. I couldn't help it. I started crying. I couldn't understand what was happening. I just wanted it to be a nightmare. I wanted to wake up. I wanted Landon to snap out of it. I told him you can't really mean that, and the look on his face when he heard my voice breaking, I knew immediately that I wasn't safe. Does he have a gun? 
He pulled the wrench out from under his bed, under his leg, before I could do anything. And he beat my ass. A wrench. The weapon Cynthia had mentioned. The last thing I remember was him raising it over his head and and it swinging towards me. The next thing I knew, I woke up in the basement. Oh crap. And that's all you remember. It was landing all along. I didn't want to believe it. It took me ages of wandering around in the basement to remember it for myself completely. All the time, I thought my family was in danger. I thought maybe they'd be taken away, and that's why they weren't helping me. And all the time, I'd just been abandoned. Cynthia too? She must have left with him after he threw me in the basement. She's always been so attached to him. He's our, her little boy. She obsessed she obsesses over him. She's willing to move for him. She didn't care how it made me feel. We'd been growing apart and then to have her baby do something like that running off with him only made sense to her. She probably wanted to protect him. Ugh, I... Are you alright, Ryan? It's just sickening. How about we take a short break? You can catch your breath. What the heck? Open it. Freedom! We're out! Well, I'd say we got a lot done today, Ryan. I want to thank you for opening up to me. I've been seeing you for nearly a year at this point. It wouldn't make sense to stop now. No, especially not now. It's very important that you're talking to someone as you go through this process. But you do think I'll come out, okay? Of course I do. I've seen you go through it quite a lot, but I've also seen you pull through it with grace. If anything, this is the end of a very difficult chapter of your life. Things can only get better for you now. Well, it's almost the end. What about Cynthia? You mean her trial? Yes, there's no telling how that will go. I think it's likely she'll claim she was forced by her abusive son. Whether that will be enough to convince the judges of her innocence, I can't say. Do you think they'll make me talk to her? Well, after her adultery issue, you still wanted to make things work, right? You have quite a few good memories with her, but she's very scared this time around, who knows? Maybe talking to her again with all the the truth laid out wouldn't be such a bad thing. Okay, I'm Landon. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with him. Well, it'll be some time before he's allowed visil visitors in the mental ward. I'd suggest keep just keeping him off your mind as much as possible until then. Then maybe later you can tackle that problem as it comes. And of course, Ryan, I'm here for you. I guess so. I'll just be glad when I can put all this behind me. And you will. But I think that's time for that's time for today. Ryan, same time next week? Right. I'll see you next Tuesday. Sure, and uh, Ryan? Yes, Doctor? Enjoy your freedom. Oh, thanks, man. The end! We did it! That was okay, I guess. Am I gonna kill myself? Don't do it. It's not worth it. We just got out of the room. Is he gonna jump? No balls. I don't think this has multiple endings, to be honest. I don't know if I'm gonna play it again. <laughs> I don't know if it matters. Let's see. I'm gonna try it. Riding Jennifer Jusail. Jusil! That wasn't bad though. It's alright. Too complicated five me. I think that's probably the first like point and click game like that I've beaten. Usually I just get like super stuck trying to figure out what to do. Like I did in this playthrough. Music by something. Project Manager Coding by Jonas Jelly. Jelly. Jelly Bro? <laughs> Graphics. Jeremy Carner, Carver and Jonas Jelly. <laughs> Gosh. Beta testing. It'd be kind of cool if they could quick save so I could like see the different endings if there was one or like pick different options without having to replay the game. Because <laughs> now I know what to do. 
Thanks to my friends for their unending support, and to the Session 17 for making this dream a reality, and thanks to the player too. None of this is possible without you. Oh, thank you as well for be making a game. I would like to thank my family, friends for the continuous support. Thanks to everyone involved in Session 7 for making me a part of the experience. You guys rock big with so my life that I couldn't make this possible. Love D. <laughs> God. Special thanks to my wife, family, and friends, and everybody contributing to make this game. You are understanding. Outstanding. Dun dun dun. Jeremy, Amanda, and. Oh, these are actual names. Uh, well, I guess it's fine. They put it in the game. I didn't put it in the game. <laughs> God. <laughs> thank you for playing. Oh no, thank you for letting me play this great game. No, no, it's not a great game. It's good. It's not bad. It's not. It took a lot of thinking. I don't know what happens if I fight him, that's what I'm gonna do this time. Oh yeah, I attacked him. I didn't want to hurt him, I just needed him to drop whatever he had. I thought maybe once he saw that he wasn't to be able to hurt us, he would sit down and listen, and then we could... I didn't think, I never thought that... Don't make it sound like I knew what I was doing. I didn't, I really didn't. I just got so, so angry all of a sudden. I came up behind him and I hit him hard across the back of the head. It surprised him, he fell forward and I used the opportunity to grab what he had in his lap. It was a wrench wasn't even that heavy. What happened after he fell? I tried to hold his head down to the ground but he was stronger than I thought. He got right back up and turned it around and I realized at the moment whoever I was looking at wasn't my son, not really. It was like a monster had taken over. There wasn't a trace of humanity left in him. Did he hurt you too? Yes. It only took a second to realize what he had, what had happened and who had hit him. And then he was right back up and punching me as hard as he could in the face without a word. He knocked me, he knocked the air straight out of me, put me up flat on my back. And did he say, he told me I really ought to mind my own business. <laughs> I was in range. I yelled at him to stop, but he didn't. He just kept hitting me, hitting me so hard I could barely see. My nose was bleeding and I called out for Cynthia. I don't think she could hear us. And then, and then it was like my body acted on its own. I didn't even think about it. I think it was self-defense. Oh my god, did I beat him to death? And I swung the damn wrench up to where I thought his face might be above me, and... Oh, I killed him. Oh god, the sound was awful. And then he fell. Yes, but not right away. It took, it took him a second, like he was thinking about it. He got all quiet, and I looked at him in the eyes, and he just looked surprised. Not even sad or upset, just surprised. Nice. And then he fell on top of me like a rag doll, and I knew I killed him. I knew he was gone. <laughs> hey! But if you killed him, then how did you? It was Cynthia. I was trying to get up, and I turned around, and she was there holding one of her, the heavy ceramic faces her mother gave to us. I thought she was going to faint. I got up to help her to run over to her. But then she lifted the vase up above her head, and that's the last thing I remember. That's all you remember? It was Cynthia's? I didn't believe it myself. I couldn't have. It took me ages of searching around in the basement to remember even that far. When I woke up... Ooh. Plot twist. But I was wrong. It was them. They hurt me. My own family. I wonder if I'm going to be in jail now. And my own wife imprisoned me. She left me to die. You killed her only son, Ryan. She was terrified. Yeah, well, we'll see what the jury thinks about that. I was only trying to protect her. I was trying to protect us from the son you raised. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the truly scary part about all this, isn't it? He was our son. He slept in our house. We took care of him when he was sick. We gave up our lives for him. I switched jobs. I, his mother tucked him in at night for years. 
psychopathy is very difficult to understand. I don't think I want to understand. I don't want to know what was happening in his head. I don't want to know what he was thinking when he hit her or when he attacked me or when I, when we looked at each other. Perhaps we should end here. We can pick up, always pick up later. Oh, I just need a moment. <laughs> oh, I'm in jail now. I figured I'd be in jail after beating his ass with the wrench. <laughs> We've gotten a lot of good work done today, Ryan. Appreciate you opening up to me as much as you have. I understand this hasn't been easy for you. Well, well, it was good to see a familiar face. It's easier to talk to somebody who already knows my history, of course. Still, I have to admit, I was surprised to get this call. I'm sorry it's come to this. The trial hasn't happened yet. I still have a chance. I assume that's why you're here, right? Well, I'd like to say I'm here to simply support you, but yes. Ryan, I must admit to you, things are looking good for you. Uh-oh. Your son is dead by your hands. You may only have been trying to help your family, but this is going to be difficult to explain away. So it's important that you came clean. I'll do everything I can to help you with my testimony. Just, I hope it will be enough. And and Cynthia? She's in just about the same boat as you. There's a chance she'll be released because she was technically a victim of domestic abuse, but yes, she'll ha also have to stay in trial. I see, do you think I'll be, have to talk to her? I mean, even after she cheated on you. So for your sake, I hope they don't. That's all for today, Ryan. Your handler will take you back to your room. You've been through a lot. I just hope we can work through it all and get you feeling better soon. See you tomorrow. So I gotta play through it one more time to know all the endings. Ha ha ha. <laughs> God. Uh. Hmm. Hasten, boy. A jail. My favorite. Best ending. Okay. Do I have to watch the credits? Not like this. No. Oh. Skip, 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 skip. Ah. <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, no. No. Uh, 